if he is conventional, so am I again. And I am trying to use my rear leg. And I'm trying to use my rear leg to hit his lead leg. On the outside of his thigh. Are you watching? On the outside of his thigh. This is where I put my lead leg in between his legs. My rear leg in the back on the outside like so. You get it? So when I move back, I'm here like I was doing before for the inner thigh, right? So now I step over and I'm here. I, every time we're moving, I'm thinking about keeping my leg on the outside one leg and trapping his front leg. Like if I was squeezing both of his, my thighs between his legs. So while I'm here, if I want to come out there, easy for me to hit. But if I'm coming from here, trying to kick, look at his block. Show it. Let's lift it. Easy for him to check it on the out. But if I'm here and I trap it, when he tries to lift it, I can beat him to it. You got what I'm saying? On the outside. Now, if he's a southpaw switch and I want to use the inner thigh kick, I cannot even it out. I cannot trap the front leg. I would have to be here. Now I even at my feet. My back leg is where his back leg is aligned. My front leg is where his front leg is aligned. You understand? Because if I try to trap it and kick him from here, look how easy it was. But if I keep it right here, easy for me to get inside. Because I'm out here, all I have to do is just throw it right over. Are you following? So if he tries to check it, he can check it easy. If I come here, I'm fighting against the grind. You got what I'm saying? But when I'm here and I'm aligned, I can throw what I want and then come down easier. You got what I'm saying? Now, a quick recap. Conventional versus conventional. If I want to hit him with the thigh kick, my lead thigh kick inside his leg, I want to place my feet evenly with his. My front leg faces his back leg. My back leg faces his front leg. I can lean away from it or even step to his front leg and kick before he crossover blocks, okay? To get inside. If he's a southpaw, he switches. It's the same thing as always. Your leg should be on the outside of your southpaw for your opponent. So if I move, now his leg is trapped in between. It contradicts it. So my back leg moves to his back leg. My front leg is over, around. Easy for me to swing. So if you wanted to try to check the kick, it's harder for him to lift. If I was standing like before, look how easy it is for him to lift. You get it? Now if he switches, conventional. Once again, if I want to use my back leg to the outside of his thigh, I have to make sure that his leg is in between my legs. So now my front leg is right facing his back leg. My back leg is on the outside of his front leg. So when I throw this low kick, I step flat, whichever way I may step, it comes around it. So if he tries to lift, easy for me to hit because I'm trapping his leg off when I'm moving. So I'm always around his leg. You get it? Now, if he switches like a southpaw, I do not want to trap his leg. I want to be here. My front leg facing his front leg. My back leg is exactly facing his back leg. And when I throw it, I just step right, walk a little hop right inside. You get it? And if it was to attack, easy for me to back up and hit with the back leg. So if I'm there, he attacks, I back right inside all day there. You get it? This is a basic fundamental of knowing how to hit there. Now, there's a lot of setups. Your right hand, you're moving in your rhythm, your stances how to move back and forth, how to skip over, how to slide forward, how to slide back, how to lift, 
where to land. It's all up to where you want to go, but the agenda is knowing where you want his foot at and what foot you're kicking with. I want to kick with the front leg, I know I'm going to have to be here. If I want to kick with the rear leg, I have to be here. If he switches, I want to kick with the front leg, I have to be here. I want to kick with the back leg, I have to be here. Knowing this doesn't distinguish how you move. It's how you're going to trap that leg. That's why it's called trapping his feet.